What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some of the current data points, what shorts did today as well, how the technicals are starting to look as though SoFi has bottomed. So I'm going to go over all that, but first make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So, SoFi did go up 0.71% today. After hours, it's slightly pulling back, but regardless, it was able to successfully get over that $7 pivot point. So, I'm going to talk all about that once I go over the technicals. A fair amount of volume. So, 47.15 million shares were traded today. 54.6 is the average. These are some of the transactions that did occur on the secondary market above $100,000. So, you do see big money starting to re enter into. SoFi and there was more of a, a gap over the last several trading days where big money was clearly taking a step back I don't know what they were exactly waiting for but today they definitely did enter and some pretty big transactions as well based on the bid the ask and the selling price most of the transactions today were buys and plus there was one very interesting one 7.36 million dollars and that was at the very end of the day aside from that though today there was no news no sec filings nothing like that so today sofi was piggybacking off of the broader market's optimism and plus the optimism associated to sofi's own technicals but quickly moving on from here though, going over some of the data points, shorts did break that trend of constantly increasing. So right now they did return around 79,000 shares, 18.76% of the free flow is being shorted. And ultimately that works out to be 171.35 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is 1.35% and utilization is 83.93%. So definitely very interesting to see that shorts did kind of return so it does validate today's green day so again that's kind of bullish data behind the scenes one thing i just wanted to bring up is that the volatility today was very low so 40.4 on average over the last 20 days 58.4 and the last uh, i guess over the last 52 weeks 61.5 so typically when you do see lower volatility that does kind of start to show that more of a bottoming so this is one of the many points that kind of signals that sofi is starting to trend up and i kind of saw a lot of these points and this is why like i said on friday i did re-enter into sofi so I sold some of my position in PayPal and I took some money from elsewhere so I did some options as well I did buy into SoFi so I'm pretty happy with that and I do see it going and continuing to go up at least for the foreseeable future of course uh, dependent on the feds making their decision rate on Wednesday and what is said afterwards that will definitely dictate what happens on a larger scale but we'll just have to wait and see what is said as far as options goes nine 9.1 million dollars in calls being purchased versus 4.66 million inputs but sentiment wise somewhat evenly divided so 38 percent of all the options being done today were bullish but again you can kind of see that it's somewhat evenly divided a lot of options being done today were neutral just collecting the premiums clearly and that would have been exactly when it was at that seven dollars so it is what it is. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Of the call options that are being purchased, there is a consensus for it to be above $8 by the end of this week. And then looking at puts, you do see a consensus for it to be sub 650. So risk versus reward still is pointing to higher highs coming. Um, so again, pretty good thing. Looking on here, so this is at the one minute chart with it closing at 708. It is exactly on this R2. So you'll just have to watch to see if it does trend transition into the R2 to the R3 tomorrow or if it kind of breaks down but based on today it was all over the place so it bounced off of this s3 so we do know that this is a very strong support and then vice versa it kind of bounced off of the general area of the r3 so we do know that's very strong resistance but moving on from here looking on the actual chart still lower percentile of the boiling band you do see a very strong resistance here so you do have the 50 100 and also that central boiling band all in one right there so that's around the eight dollar range and that does match somewhat with the options as well so this is where in theory it could really run up to around eight dollars in the short term before it is faced with uh, a very strong resistance level but looking on stochastic despite the green day on friday and today you do see a bearish deviation so red line above the white 
but you do see it very oversold. So technically value investors could be rushing to SoFi if there's a good piece of news or just on a larger scale as well, AKA uh, this upcoming Wednesday. Number of retail investors were still getting out. So based on the volume today, so big money was buying, retail essentially was still somewhat getting out of SoFi. So maybe taking profits, moving it elsewhere. There's a lot of momentum plays out there that a lot of people are kind of funneling money to, but all in all, I think a lot of the data points are signaling that at least there is a temporary bottom. We'll just have to wait and see what does come for the rest of the week. And like I kind of signaled already, this upcoming Wednesday could change the dynamic of everything I just said and the broader market, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Give yourself a shout out. Have you been buying? Have you been selling? What have you been doing with SoFi? And with all that, I appreciate all of you watching.